Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to create this pink and purple look perfect for spring with a bold black and white eyeliner. I am starting this tutorial with nothing on, so starting fresh I'm going to use my beauty blender to apply my favorite foundation, my HD Makeup Forever foundation. Next I'm going to apply my Pro Longwear Concealer, this is from MAC, and I'm going to apply this on any problem area, under eye, and redness. To set my foundation and concealer, I'm going to use my Smashbox Press Powder, and I'm using this with a Sigma Flat Top Kabuki Brush to blend this out and set it. Now to add structure and depth into my face, I'm going to use Hoola from Benefit and apply this on my cheekbone area and nose. If you are interested in the specific products or brands that I'm using, especially brushes, check out the description box. I will list everything there. Before any eye look, I always put my eyebrows on first. This really frames the face and the eye. So I'm using Anastasia Dip Brow in the color blonde. Now we can start the actual eye makeup. The first brush I'm going to use is a bullet crease brush and it's just a round top fluffy brush. I'm going to use this brush to apply the first color we're using which is a very vibrant baby pink and I'm applying this in the crease and then blending it into the inner corner. This is going to be our base or our transition color. And again for anyone interested, if you do want to know the exact brand or style of the brush, whatever I'm using, just read the description box and it'll be there for you, but you can use whatever you already own. For this part specifically, you really just want a light wash of color. Next, I'm going to use a very small blending brush, and this is going to be good to have a lot of precision. I'm going to take a neon or bright purple, and I'm placing this right into the crease where you would place a cut crease. Now I'm taking a matte off-white eyeshadow and I'm placing this underneath the brow bone and in the inner corner to start a highlight. Using the same color, I'm going to apply this on the lid as well, right underneath the crease. Now to start my eyeliner, I'm going to take the pink we used in the beginning and smudge this on the bottom from corner to corner using the fluffy bullet crease brush. Then using the small precision brush again, we're going to take the vibrant purple and place this on the outer corner about three quarters of the way in. You can easily follow these same steps and placement using different colors if you'd like. Now for my favorite part of the entire look, the heavy winged thick black eyeliner. 
I decided to make the eyeliner very intense and bold. It's up to you how thick or how dark you want it. You can choose to do different color than black, or you can make it thinner, you can make it thicker, however you'd like to do it. I'm using a black liquid eyeliner. This is from Wet n Wild, and I'm first going to line corner to corner a very thin line. Next to create the heavy wing, I'm going to create a triangle. So the flat part of the triangle is going to be laying against your lid, and then the point is going to be facing towards your brow. I felt it was easiest to box this out or create a border and then fill it in, but if you want to do it in one flick or swift movement, you can do that too. Before I finish my liner, I'm going to add to the highlight a little bit more. So I'm using Venus from Urban Decay. This is a very white or light bright highlight. Since my eyeliner has white in it, I wanted to keep the highlight bright as well. Now for the white liner. I'm going to use NYX Jumbo White Pencil in Milk and an angled eyeshadow brush. I am placing this right over top the black, but I'm not covering the black. So I'm placing a line on top of a line, and the white is going to start in the inner corner and work its way out to the end corner or the beginning corner of the black. There isn't much to the white eyeliner, it's very soft, but at the same time it is a big statement when you look down or close your eyes. You don't see it that much when your eyes are open or looking straight ahead, but it does give a very modern effect and really brightens up the whole eye. And then to finish up the eyeliner, I'm going to place a little bit of a white line underneath the black wing that we placed before. This little step again just keeps it very modern and bright. Now you can add your mascara and false lashes. that's it for the eyes. Moving on to the face, I'm going to take my Becca Opal Highlighter and I'm placing this on the cheekbones right underneath the eye. This will give a very dewy, soft finish to the skin. And now for the lips. First I'm going to take my little mixing palette and I'm using OCC Lip Tars. I'm first going to take a blue undertoned pink and apply this as normal on top and bottom lip. Now to create an ombre effect, I'm going to place white and put this right in the center of the lip and then smushing them together, kind of wiggling them around to give a faded or bleeding effect to it. I feel this lip combo is perfect for the eye look. And to tie it all together and finish it up, I'm going to use a blue undertoned pink blush as well. And that's everything for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions, make sure you read the description box or comment below. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.